Hey everybody, Chris here from It's Mead Made, and today we're gonna talk about ink washes. And why we're gonna talk about ink washes? Because this bottle is empty, and I wanted to show you guys how I make my ink wash. I know in a previous video I've kind of shown a little bit on how I do it, and I was just gonna make a separate video of kind of going through those same steps, because I've adapted it just a little bit since then. Okay, so here are all the things we need. Um, you need some type of ink, and I'll get into more details on that. You need a flow aid, or if you're cheap like me, uh, you can just use Jet Dry. I use Finish. There's also just plain Jet Dry, and it's all a flow aid. It just helps the, the liquid kind of flow off the model easier and get into those tiny little cracks. Um, but fair warning, your stuff will get soapy. You'll also need some kind of bottle, but you can actually make smaller amounts if you want. But I use uh, a big bottle just because I paint bigger things and I go through it a lot quicker. So you can use these. You can actually buy these little bottles and they even have little droppers, as you can see, that come on it. And they just kind of, whoop, they just kind of fly off like that. Um, but you can fill everything up like you want like that. But if you use a little bottle, you probably are going to need some kind of little funnel or something like that because pouring some of this might just, you know, stink. So there is these, but you can get these as well. I actually got this. It's just a ketchup bottle. Um, it was a two pack at the dollar store. So this right here was 50 cents. The other thing is one of the most important things you need a matte fluid medium um the matte f fluid medium i use liquitex it's just a really good brand and this is where i don't get cheap because uh, i want to make sure that the medium is good and what medium is is think of it as paint that's all it really is is just paint with no pigment in it whatsoever and what we're going to do is add the pigment so uh this is very important, and I would tell you get a big bottle. Uh, they make a big bo bigger bottle than this, and um, my next bottle will definitely be bigger than this because I'm tired of going through these bottles because you'll see how much we use in, in a little bit. And then water. Uh, this is actually just a bottle of water, um, and I actually keep a bottle down here to use for different things. Like, I haven't drank out of this. Um, you can use distilled water. I've heard of like ionized water um, and all kinds of purified wa different waters, things like that. But personally, I've never actually seen an issue with just using tap water because in the very beginning I used to. Um, the only issue I could see is maybe if you have a well because I have had well water in the past and you know it can leave your sinks all gross and stuff like that. And uh, with like, I guess it's, what is it, the iron? Um, that could make an issue, maybe. But if that's the case, maybe you just wanna get a bottle of water or something like that. Um, and I go through this pretty quick, so it's not like it can go rancid or anything like that. So when talking about your bottle, here's kind of my ground rule, is I go just over 50-50 with water and matte medium. And you can see here, on, if you get a, like a cheap bottle, it is very handy to just write on it. So I will actually do this much H2O, uh, that's my fancy word for water. And then what I do is I fill the rest with matte medium, and then the rest of the stuff is really however I wanna make it. Now I will tell you this, this is just a general recipe and there's a bunch of people out there that have great videos just as the same as I'm making right now, um, but they all vary. And it's one of those things that you might follow this recipe and then realize that you wanna change it a little bit. You don't like it how I do it. And I would strongly, strongly encourage that because everybody uses it for different things. Like when I'm using it for big busts and stuff like that, if you've seen some of my videos, I mean, I slather it on. But then I also have other ink washes that are specific that I paint on like you're actually supposed to do with ink washes and just trying to get in those little cracks to, you know, bring out some of the detail. So, you know, there's a time and place for DIY, I feel like. Um, when I'm doing something really small and intricate, like 
I'm in the middle of painting this uh, druid turtle. He's my actually my D and D character. Um, this is Leonard, or Leonard. Um, I've actually started using some of the ink washes of these on him. Like I actually put it on the cracks of his shell and things like that. Um, I wouldn't use this on a mini. Uh, I like to use this for terrain and big busts and any other kind of big like resin pieces and things like that. All right, so that being said, let's get into the actual making of this guy. So like I said, half, half H2O, half matte medium. I go a little more because I like it thinner, but I've seen other recipes that just say 50-50, and you know what, if that's what you like, great. So first thing is what I do is I fill it full of H2O because I don't want this kind of stuck to the bottom. I've done it before and it just messes it up. That's why I have labeled here H2O first, and it also helps me keep my order. All right, so now all I'm going to do is fill this with water. Look at that, just perfect. I don't wanna brag, but I've been pouring water since I was little. Um, the next thing is this guy, matte medium. And here we go. And there we go. So I filled it to the line, close that. And now the next part is I'm going to cap this and mix it really well. Now, this is where I will tell you, it's kind of important to do it in this order. Um, because if you put this stuff in first or anywhere in this process before you get here, uh, you will get it all soapy. I mean, like it'll be all bubbly here. Um, I do it in the next step because even doing it here, you can see how it's bubbling up and that's fine. And it's already watered down or well, at least it's not watered down. It's already like really liquidy, obviously, since it's called matte fluid medium. All right, so that's good. Now all I'm gonna do is take this off again. And now add this. I only put a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. So blah, 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 good enough. And that's it. Um, now I'll just kinda swirl this around, get it in there. It doesn't need a ton. Okay, so here are my inks. I have honestly a variety of inks and there's some different reasons why I have different inks. Um, sometimes I'll actually paint with just ink um, or dry brush with ink and I have some India inks and I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know the full difference of like the composition of how they're made because I have a Chinese ink, an India ink, and then these are acrylic inks. Uh, I have the white just to kind of show you. Liquitex actually has some really great inks, um, but this is titanium white. This is actually what I use in my airbrush a lot uh, to get that white highlight effect. Um, and then this is also an acrylic ink that I got at Hobby Lobby, and I did not pay $6.99 for it. I usually only go to Hobby Lobby when I've got big coupons. So this is the different types of ink you could use. Um, I have found that India ink, I just don't like to use it when I'm using ink washes. Um, there's just something about it. Uh, I don't know. I It's not as potent or you know rich and vibrant as I want in a wash. Now, the acrylic inks, these do amazing. These do really good, and they're easy to find. Um, I recommend, honestly, using acrylic inks for a lot of your washes. But recently, I started using uh, this Chinese ink, and it is really black. There is a lot of ink in this. So 
I really like using this and it's just one of those things that I kind of found something and I like to just keep going with it. I actually just went through a bottle of this. This is my second bottle. Um, and it's kind of cool that I don't have to deal with the droppers, which can be kind of a pain in the butt, um, because you just put this sideways and squeeze it and it all comes out. So this is just ultra black. And I forgot to mention all of this stuff. I can put a link in my description of to buy it. Um, I have bought this on Amazon. Uh, my local craft store actually had it for some reason and I was shocked. So I went ahead and bought it. Um, but I know I bought this on Amazon and I can put the link of that too in the description. Um, so when it comes to inks, it's really however you want to go. And maybe it's best if you just do a trial by fire because, you know, trying it with India ink and if you use those little tiny bottles, then it's not as bad as making this much ink wash if you don't like it. But it's one of those things that you just got to learn to see what you like for what you do. Everybody in this, you know, hobby does so many different things. And I think that's the most beautiful thing about this hobby is you can go in so many directions with it and still have so much in common with anybody that 3D prints or paints. So there's my spiel on all the different types of inks. And now we will finish the last step of the ink wash. Okay, so all I got to do is unscrew this. Take the cap off, and here we go. Uh, I typically go for this about 40 drops, so here we go. I will speed this up for you. So there's this. Now, I... If I wanted a plain black wash, I would just stop right here. But I also like to get a little bit of an earthy black wash. Uh, so what I do is I actually have this acrylic ink in a burnt umber. And I will typically just add a full, a full dropper of it. Which is probably about 10 or 15 drops, honestly. And there we go. So there's all my inks. I actually successfully made an ink wash without spilling it everywhere and getting ink all over my hands, which is awesome. And now I've just jinxed, jinxed myself. So we're gonna just go ahead and screw this back on. Cap it really well and shake. And everything that I use is going to be in the comments below. And I have my affiliate links there, so it doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me out. So I'd appreciate it if you use those. If you don't, that's fine too. And the big thing here in this video is I just wanna make sure you know how to make your own ink washes. And that's it. So I hope you guys have a good one and hope to see you next time.